हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एस एस वी लॉगर नाउ द रीज़न वाई आई एम लाइक मेकिंग दिस ब्लॉग द मेन रीज़न इज़ दैट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू हाउ आई गोट माई कैनेडा वर्क परमिट माई जर्नी स्टार्टिड सम अराउंड सिक्स और सेवन मंथ से गो एंड आई लाइक यू नो वॉज डू वेरी मच एक्साइटेड टू गो टू कैनेडा बट I was not having right guidance. So once I got the right guidance, I started preparing for IELTS exam, and I scored overall seven band. In speaking and uh, listening, I scored seven point five, and in reading and writing, I scored perfect six point five band. So overall, is seven band. So thereafter, like my I submitted my documents, and I submitted my IELTS TRF, and. Uh, like uh, having submitted my documents i within some around like uh, one month or 40 days within 40 days i think i got uh, my canada work permit uh, passport request letter i can say so i submitted to vfs office in delhi and uh, within seven days or before seven days it got approved it got stamp timing and uh, that is my journey actually it took me overall seven to eight months but i would say 3 to 4 months was extra because of my mistake as my documents were not complete and i took 3 to 4 months to complete the documents and then submit it once i submitted my documents within 30 to 40 days i got my ppr letter so it is not a difficult journey guys i mean if you have dream to go to canada i am sure you can achieve it so dream it and achieve it it is not that much difficult everything will fall automatically provided you have to do a bit hard work not that much hard work a bit i would say i did not um, i i would say it is like it was super easy for me and i'm sure it would be easier for you as well just do it right now it's never too late to start anything thank you guys this is what i want to tell, tell you my viewers and once i will go to canada I will definitely make the blog, but I would also say my Australia visa is also under process, and uh, within four weeks, now one week is already passed. Within three weeks, I am gonna receive my Australian visa also, and I had for Qatar also. So Qatar, I had uh, rejected it, and uh, as I refused uh, my client, uh, I mean company over there in Qatar that I would not be able to come because in Qatar I will not get the PR, and uh, it is just like a renting a life over there. Yes, some day if I get the better opportunity in Qatar, I would definitely go. So I'm waiting for my Australian visa. So let's see. I should. Uh, I'm not able to figure it out whether I should go to Australia or Canada. So I'm waiting for your suggestions and your comments. So please uh, do comment in the, uh, I mean box, and I'll be reading it and I'll be deciding based on that. Please share the pros, and cons both. why i should move to canada why i should move to australia so based on that only i will decide it which country i should go and once i go there i will make my blogs again over there and i will take you through the country almost i would say i will take i mean i will shoot i will make many videos i will make many blogs from there so that's all guys see you again in next thank you stay tuned keep watching and please do subscribe and likes as well thank you